This is my second tiny house video. In the first video I show you how I actually built the tiny house. In this one I'll show you how I finished the inside. Okay, so before we go inside I'll uh, show you around the outside a little bit. On the front porch I built this red box and I have a 12 volt battery in there. I plan on uh, hooking up a solar panel to charge the battery. This is uh, the water inlet on the left where I can fill my tank, storage tank in there. And this is if you have a water supply you can hook up a garden hose. That's the gas line. That's the 12 volt electric. And this over here is where you can plug in an extension cord if you have access to electricity. Now over on this side of the tiny house I have my direct vent for my wall heater inside. I decided to install a uh, direct vent heater instead of the, the uh, ventless type. And on the windows I've made screens to keep the bugs out of that tiny house. So here we go. Let's go inside and I'll show you what I what I did in there. First thing we come to is my little porch area. And there's the regular house door that leads into the cabin. I built that vaulted ceiling. I wanted a nice high ceiling. And uh, there's the wall heater. It's vented directly to the outside. And there's my little kitchen. I made those cabinets out of cherry with raised panel doors. And uh, down the bottom here we've got the water storage tank and the hook up to the sink. And then this is where the propane gas line comes in for the cook stove. And I will have my uh, solar power controller up on that shelf there. Now I wired the tiny cabin for both 12 volt and regular house current. And on the left here is the panel for the, uh, the 120 volt house current. I got two uh, breakers in there. And this is the 12 volt distribution center. And there are uh, six fuses. So I have six different runs for my lights and various things in the uh, tiny house. So I can go either way. If I'm, if I'm where there's electricity, I can plug that extension cord in. If not, I'll run off from 12 volt. Now this tiny house is more of a weekend cabin and so I've kept things pretty simple. I've got a kitchen sink and a stove top there. There's my wall heater. And over on the left side here is a little LED reading light. Runs off from 12 volts. That'll be nice. I found this little 12 volt combo unit here coming up next. You can see that I'm running 12.3 volts so it tells me the condition of my battery. And this is a USB port so I can charge my cell phone and then right here is um, a cigarette lighter type uh, output. Now everything in the tiny house has to be well it has to be tiny so I built this little kitchen table and it's combined with a lower table for my bedside stand. My bed will be over in this area here and uh, so I've got a, a lower tabletop here for my bedside stand. should work out pretty good. So uh, I'm happy with the way things are so far. I still have to build a few cupboards and some storage area here in the cabin. But it's coming along. I'm standing down in the end of the cabin where the bed will be, looking towards the front door. There's that LED light that I made for the ceiling. And we'll take a walk down through here. It's about 16 feet long, this tiny house is. And here's my front porch. I made this little table that I can put up. And when I sit out here, I can set my coffee up there. This little porch provides a lot of uh, fresh air with the window screen and also the front uh, screen door. And I'll have a nice view out that front window. So now it's time to relax before my son shows up to move this cabin to the woods. Thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, consider subscribing to Tim Tools 99.